Good morning, Melissa here from Girl Gone Fishing. It's about 4.30 in the morning on Sunday and I'm here at the Jonathan Creek boat ramp on Kentucky Lake with my buddy Kevin. So we are down here fishing the KBF trail event. There was a tournament yesterday and a tournament today, two standalone tournaments. And uh, Kevin and I did a ton of Google Earth study and I just worked for weeks to do Google Maps and Google Earth and I picked out what I thought was the absolute perfect spot yesterday and there were no fish. Um, I was going to do a lot of offshore fishing and two things went wrong. Um, my fish finder broke, the plug pulled off, and Asian carp have apparently moved into the middle of all these like coves and ledges and stuff and pushed the bass off. So I'm rooming in a house with uh, six of us total uh, from the Buckeye Kayak Fishing Group and they told me you have to go to a creek. You have to go to a creek. I didn't want to go to a creek. I hadn't scouted a creek, but they said, look, you know, you're a total idiot if you are too proud to take our advice and try a creek. You're just gonna sit here and not get fish. So here I am at a boat ramp on a creek that I've never seen before. It's pitch black. I can't see a thing. I have no idea what we're getting into. But Kevin and I made the decision that we were gonna take their advice. We weren't gonna be stubborn and go to the same spot again and at least give it a try. And if the creek doesn't pan out, we're on a pretty nice cove and there's access to the main lake. So it's gonna work out. We're gonna have a great day and oh, it's raining. It's only going to rain for the first couple hours and it's not really all that cold. So it's fine. Um, we're going to have a good time. Hopefully get some big smallmouth, big bass and uh, make a better showing in this tournament than, than I did yesterday. 5.30 a.m. We're allowed to start pedaling. It is pitch black and raining. This is the craziest thing I think I've ever done on a kayak. I'm pedaling into the blackness. I don't know how to get this out. He just keeps trying to bite me when I get close. Oh my god, don't bite me. Well, it's 7.30 and I haven't had a bite except for that giant turtle. And uh, this isn't looking good. I've paddled up as far as I can in this creek and that that's it. Like there's no more. So I gotta turn around and go back. Um, the creek is out unless I can catch something on the way back. Um, I really don't know what else to do. I'm gonna have to come up with something on the fly and see if I can put together a five fish limit. So oh, let's see what we got. So even though they didn't work for me yesterday, I'm back to using these uh, Ned jig heads that have like a skirt on them and some hair. Uh, I still think they look really cool and they make throwing a Ned rig a little more fun because you know those things are down there waving. So I can't remember who makes these, but I got them off a of tackle warehouse. It's uh, Brian someone or other. So. I'm throwing the Ned rig. I've got a finesse TRD in the deal right now. Um, started with uh, green pumpkin, got nothing, switched to the deal to try that. 
Then I've got a Texas rigged, big TRD. Um, started with green pumpkin goby, switched to green pumpkin, trying to get a little darker because this creek's really muddy and there's low light. And then I also have a shaky head, a, a Senko, green pumpkin, black flake. And I have my smaller whopper plopper. I really like the action on that, but it's probably the wrong color for dirty, dirty water and low light. But might still get the reaction bite. Nothing on it yet so far though. And uh, that's for, oh, I have a little jig, a little finesse jig. So that's what I've been throwing in here and I uh, haven't got anything yet. And here's my fun kind of wild card for the day. Um, I know it's probably not a crankbait day, but I've got this big chartreuse fat mega bass and it doesn't run very deep. So I thought I'd throw it around a little bit and see if I can get something. Sometimes you just gotta dig in your tackle box and pull out a wild card and give it a try. number one 15 inches I'm so freaking happy to catch this guy Frank bait whoo gosh I gotta get some more I just checked my line after that last little white bass and it is totally torn up. So gotta take the time to retie so I don't lose my next big one. Deeper though. I'm going deeper to, to get 
get this. Right. Well, the tournament's over, and once again, I do not have good news to report. I caught one fish. Um, he was 15 inches when I looked at him on the board, but in my picture it was only 14 and 3 quarters. So that's what I got for the tournament is one 14 and 3 quarters inch fish. It's really disappointing. Um, I, I had really hoped to improve from yesterday because yesterday was a separate tournament down here on Kentucky Lake. Today was like a standalone tournament. My plan had been to kind of pre-fish yesterday, use that as a, as a building block for today. But yesterday I didn't have my fish finder because the plug ripped off and I fished a different area. Last night, everyone in my house told me that we had to find a creek, that we were totally crazy if we went back to the same area. So we took a leap of faith. We tried to find a creek. Uh, everyone kind of picked one on Google Earth together and I gave it a shot but it didn't work out. So I'm glad I tried. I'm glad I took their advice. Uh, I'm not very good at that. Kind of like a stubborn I'll do it myself thing, but I'm, I'm happy I took their advice and I'm happy I tried it. I'm just bummed it didn't work out. So I got the experience of coming down here and, and doing a bigger tournament, um, doing a two day thing, even though it wasn't a two day tournament. That was a really great experience. And uh, I'm glad I had this learning experience. And here's something really cool. One of the guys I'm rooming with, Bobby Weicker, he won. How freaking cool is that? So we get to go back to the cabin and celebrate Bobby's win. So congratulations to all the winners. Thank you so much to Strictly Sail and Kayak for the links. The links was awesome today. Between yesterday and today, I pedaled 14 miles. And I mean, I didn't catch a lot of fish, but I got some good exercise. So I would never have been able to cover that kind of ground or fish the way I did in my little old town sit-in paddle kayak. So thank you Strictly Sailing Kayak for the links. Love that kayak. You guys are awesome. And thank you guys for watching. I'll try to do better next time. Sorry for not having more fish in the video, but I'll do better next time, or at least, you know, I'll try my hardest. That's all I can do. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'm gonna head back to the cabin. I'll see you guys out on the lake on the next one.